Great Britain's Prime Minister David Cameron made a call to all the world's media this week to show the Charlie Hebdo cartoons. What's the significance? So this coming out of Great Britain, here's what the Prime Minister of Great Britain said. I think we are at risk because they are a group of people who believe in this fanatical death cult of Islamist extremism. You can't appease them. They hate our democracy, our freedom, our freedom of expression, our way of life. It would be wrong to think that there are a set of behaviors we could adopt to make us safer. And then he went on to say that he's urging all major media in the world to publish the cartoons to essentially stand up to terrorists. Now, on the one hand, I do applaud the Prime Minister. I agree with his sentiments. On the other hand, I think more and more media organizations are going to expect protection from government. Because what happens if you listen to the Prime Minister? You're a small media organization. You have no security. Or, uh, let's say a, a small newspaper with a, a budget of a few hundred thousand, a couple staffers. You don't have security guards. You don't have uh, lock security systems. What happens if you follow the Prime Minister's advice and Islamic terrorists are offended and they come and kill all of you? So it's not an easy thing. I think the basic principle of freedom of expression, to me, that is easy. We should all be allowed to voice any opinion we want, even if it's offensive to some people's religious sensibilities. But that's a far different question from whether it's smart to, or whether it's wise to, or government officials should be advising people to do something that might get them killed. I'd love to hear your opinion on this. Please post your comments.